day 28 of the 30 day challenge. Y'all, we are doing great. We have two days left. Only two more. Hold on. Finish strong. We're in it together. Do what you can do. Only two days left. December 1st, we start the new challenges. So let's get started. We are doing, if this is your first time joining, we are doing three different challenges. You can do all of them or just do one of them or two of them. It's your choice. Now, the first challenge we will be doing today is going to be our wall sits. These are getting longer and longer and longer, so let's get those over with and out the way. Second, let's go ahead and start with our tone it up challenge. We'll do that second and third. We'll do the Tammy challenge. So I'm excited. We're hanging in there. I'm doing it with y'all. Y'all see all my mistakes and everything. Let's get started. Today we are doing four minutes and 40 seconds for the wall sit. So what I want you to do is find your wall, find a wall, um, go as low as you can. If you only can go here, this is also okay. Um, one thing you want to make sure that your knees don't go over your toes. Do the best you can. If you can't do it the entire time, that's okay. Stop. You can either jump back in with us or that could be the end of you doing the wall sits for the day. And if you're going to continue on, then just wait for us to finish. Let's get started. Everybody in their position. Let's go. So as you can see, I am squatting down. Um, lower back is against the wall, which actually activates my quads even more. My toes are not over my knees. Today, my feet are not sliding. <laughs> I think that makes a huge difference compared to when I did the video yesterday. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the start of the week. Well, today is Monday. Last week was Thanksgiving. How many of y'all are now back on track? All right. So today, if you took the weekend and you were still eating leftovers, let's get back on track today if you have not gotten back on track yet. It is time to get rid of all that extra sodium, all the extra sweets, the pies, the cakes, the brownies, the peach cobbler, all of that extra stuff, all the extra carbs. Let's get back into eating our healthy carbs, our um, protein that is baked or grilled or steamed, and then back to our vegetables, our fresh vegetables, either raw, you can have salad. Don't over, don't overdo it on salad. There's other vegetables you can eat besides just a salad. You have your steamed vegetables. You can roast your vegetables. If you boil your vegetables, um, don't boil them for long periods of time because then you boil all the, all the vitamins out of them. So I've never really, I don't boil my vegetables anymore, but I will roast them and I do steam them. And of course, I eat them raw and not just in a salad. So um, I will say this. I found something that I really did like eating and it's cucumbers with tomatoes. You can add in onion if you would like to. Um, just checking to see where we're at so far. You can add an onion if you want. And then um, you can put a little dressing on it. Like I like uh, Greek dressing, so I put a little Greek dressing with um, goat cheese on it or goat cheese in it. Um, you can do a vinegar-based dressing. You could do like vinegar and uh, oil, like olive oil and vinegar. It is so good. Oh my goodness. But I use the, the tomatoes I use are the cherry tomatoes. I love it. Great snack for you to eat. So I am being back on track today. I will be having a ton of vegetables. So my system is going to start cleaning out automatically. Um, and, whoo, tired. Legs are burning. So I'm going to um, get back on track. I haven't really been off track, but just a little bit still. Make sure you're drinking your water. Drink green tea. I am a big, huge fan of hot tea, so I do drink a lot of green tea and herbal tea every day, and I use raw honey in that. So make sure you're getting back on track. Now soon I'm going to have a great article coming out. Um, not an article, but a document. So if you are a woman over 40 and you seem to be struggling with weight loss, 
Be on the lookout for that. It will come out this week, so it will be free for you to have the information. So we have um, less than a minute left to go, so hold on. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you need to um, scoot up the wall some, then scoot up the wall some. You know, there's no need to kill yourself when getting through these challenges. I want you to always do the best you can do when doing these challenges, okay? And we got this. We got it, we got it, we got it. So right now we have uh, 40 seconds left. Oh, I said we had less than 30 seconds. I made a mistake. We have 40 seconds left, so let's keep pushing. We can do this. Just to let you know, my legs are burning. I am probably going to scoot up the wall here in a few minutes. Ugh, yep, I am. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. Still burning though, but we got this. So we have 20 seconds left. Yeah, that's right. I think. <laughs> that's okay. I know when to stop on the timer. And stand up. We're done. So great job, everyone. Now, let's go ahead and start our woo, tone it up challenge. My legs got a little weak there. <laughs> so we're doing um, burpees first. We have 10, 10 burpees to do. So I'm gonna try to do a few with push-ups in them. I think my shoulder's okay to start doing push-ups. So let's get started. I'll throw some alternatives and I'll do some full ones that also. So everybody, go down, step back. I'm just going to do a push-up here. You can push up on your knee. I'm going to stand up. Stand up. That bothered my shoulder a little. Go down, step back, mountain climber, abs are tight, step up, stand up. When you stand up, don't forget to squeeze your butt and legs and abs are tight. Abs are tight in the plank position as well. Go down. Step back. Step up. Step back. Step up. Step back. Step up. Two more. One. And two. And step up. Stand up. Squeeze. Great job. That's three. Go down, jump back, jump up, jump back, jump up. That's three, go. Four, five, six. Step up, that's four. Go down, step back, hold it, step up. That's five, squeeze. Go down. Go back on your knees, do a push-up, come on your toes, step up, that's six. Go down, jump back, jump out to the, um, in and out, one, two, four, five, six, step up, seven. Now if that was hard, I'll do an alternative now for that one. Go down, step back, step to the side. One, two, three. Abs tight, that's five, six. Step up, stand up, squeeze, eight. Two more. I'll do the last two full. Down, jump back, push up, jump up. One, I gotta be careful. Down, step back, push up, step up, two. That's 10. Great job. So I hope you did what you could with those. I like to give you alternatives um, if you can't do the full ones. Any of those will get our heart rates up. Next, we're doing, I think, 14 squats. Yes, 14 squats. Let's get started. Sit down, sit back, you see my position, I'm back. Stand up and squeeze. My hips go forward when I squeeze. 
Leg foot abs. Let's go. Down, up, two. Sit back, three. Sit back, squeeze. Here we go. Four. Five. Six. If you want to go deep, you can. Seven. Just spread your legs farther apart. Eight. Nine. Sit back. Ten. Feet are flat on the floor. Eleven. Down. Twelve. Look up. Thirteen. Last one. Fourteen. Great job, everyone. Move my mat back. We're going to go ahead and do our push-ups. And then we'll do our, our two-minute plank. Okay, so push-ups first. We're doing seven push-ups. I'm going to do these all alternative just because my shoulder kind of is a little bothering me still. I'm going to do them on my knees. Here is the knee position. Use a wall, use a chair, use your knees on your feet. Okay? Or you can do these here or take your arms out wide and then go up and down that way. So let's get started. I'm going to lean forward, making sure my shoulder and wrist are aligned. You go down as deep as you can, okay? Let's go. Down, up, one. Abs tight. Down, up, two. Down, up, three. Make sure you're breathing. Four. Breathe when you go up. Five. Don't arch your back. Six. Go as low as you can. Last one. Seven. Great job. Now let's get ready to do our two-minute plank. So get in whatever position you want to be in. On your knees, on your hands, on your elbows. Or you can use the chair. I'm going to start on my knees today. Here. Let's go. So even in the plank position, my shoulder and wrist are aligned. I'm breathing. Hold your abs in. So this is your position here, okay? Again, if you get tired, you can hold it the whole entire time. Don't feel bad. Just take a break, okay? Don't arch your back like this. This is not plank. Okay, abs up. I'm going to go on my toes here for a little bit. You can do like some different moves so you don't get so bored. Breathing. If you're in, in this position, just make sure your butt is up to your shoulders, okay? And breathe. So, I'm going to stop there. You can also go down on your elbows here. We have a minute left, so hold on. Even here, you can do your legs like this. You can jump in and out. You know, you can do a variety of things. Your um, abs are in and tight. You're squeezing your abs. Don't sink your back. Pull your back up. Woo! We have 30 seconds left. Let's go. We're pushing it out here. I'm going to go back on my hands. Hold on. Less than 20 seconds. Whew. My shoulders are burning. <laughs> Hand. 10, 9, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Great job, everyone. Don't know why those things have been so hard today, but they kind of were. Let's turn over. We'll finish up with our last challenge, which is the Tammy challenge. Lay back, head on the floor, and let's go feet in the air. Hands up, we're going to touch 
You're gonna try and touch your toes. Okay, so we got 10. When you come up, breathe out. Let's go. Up, one. Up, two. Up, squeeze and breathe. Up, four. We're taking a small pause at the top. Up, six. Up, seven. Keep breathing, breathe. Breathe. Last one, up. Great job, everyone. Now for our obliques, feet on the floor. Slide down some. You're gonna take your hands, and we're just gonna go to the side like this. So lift your shoulders up off the floor as high as you can. If you can't lift them, you should have to lift your head a little and do what you can. The goal is to touch the heel of your shoe or past that. Let's get started. Go up, one, and breathe, breathe. Three, four, breathe. Five, breathe. Six, breathe. Seven, breathe. Eight, breathe. Each time we twist, we should breathe. 10, 10. Great job, everyone. Let's turn over. We'll do our 10 push-ups. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do them on my knees with my elbows close. Your shoulder wrist should be aligned. Um, and let's go down. Up, one, down. Up, two. Go as low as you can. That's three. Do what you can. That's four. My abs are tight. Five. I'm squeezing my butt. Six. Breathe. Coming up. Seven. Down. Eight. Go as low as you can. Nine. Last one. Ten. Great job, everyone. I'm going to move my mat out the way here. We have two exercises left. We have our squats, 10 squats, and 10 jumping jacks. So let's go ahead and do our squats. Let's get started. Down, sit back, stand up, squeeze. That's one. Down, two. Down, three. Down, everything's tight, squeeze. Down, five. Down, six. If you want to go low, spread your legs. Down, seven. Down, eight. Down, nine. Even this, stand up and squeeze. That's ten. Let's finish with our jumping jacks. You'll notice that with this arm, I don't go all the way up since this is the one I hurt. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Great job, everyone. We are now finished with day 28. Make sure you find me on social media. Look me up on Facebook at Shivy Williams. Also on Instagram at LBX Fitness. One word, all lowercase. Twitter and Pinterest, LBX Fitness. Two words. Visit my website www.leadingbyexample.us for more great tips on health, wellness, and fitness. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Keep pushing on. Things are gonna.